The trip from Earth to space and back again is a journey through an environment of extreme pressures and temperatures. The job of simulating those extremes and of testing materials to safeguard space travellers from them is done here at the Atmospheric and Reentry Materials and Structures Test Facility. Inside of the facility's two thermal vacuum chambers, technicians can achieve the same atmospheric compositions and thermal conditions of any known planet. The ability to produce atmospheric extremes such as temperatures up to 4,000 degrees Fahrenheit allows technicians to subject potential spacecraft materials to realistic stresses. The hazardous conditions simulated are not the only perils of spaceflight. Technicians study a completely different danger confronting those who venture into orbit, especially those who leave their spacecraft. Although spacewalking astronauts look as though they're barely moving through space, they're actually travelling at more than 17,500 miles per hour. At velocities like these, micrometeoroids and tiny bits of space debris could pass through a spacesuit like a bullet if precautions were not taken. To determine if the material can provide the necessary level of protection, it must be subjected to rigorous impact testing and that's done here at the Hypervelocity Impact Research Laboratory. The facility's three light gas guns are capable of accelerating projectiles ranging in size from 300 microns to 3 eighths of an inch at velocities of up to four and a half miles per second. The Hypervelocity Impact Research Laboratory is instrumental in the design of shielding systems for NASA spacecraft like Space Station Freedom.